Pat Hallmark here, the new UTSA head coach. And what are the emotions that come to you as you will now lead this program? Excitement is probably the first emotion and the most overwhelming emotion. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really excited to be here and, and you know, big school, bigger opportunities, bigger expectations. Um, I'm just super excited. Yeah, what's it like when you, you walk this field and know that, that you're the man leading this helm and this is your field now? Well, I'm looking forward to it. I'm ready to get to work. You know, mm -hmm. summer's just starting, but <laughs> usually you like the summer, but I'm ready for the summer to be over and I'm ready to guys to get back on campus and go to work, but we've got to temper some of that. Um, you know, we gotta gotta hire the staff and some of the, the first things first, but but uh, yeah, I, I wish we could practice right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. What were a couple of things that you learned in your two years at UIW, had great success there, and now hoping to translate that here with the Roadrunners? The the first one, which I you know, I I kind of figured this when I when I came back to Texas, but there's great players, there's great amateur mm -hmm. slash high school players right here in, in central Texas and in this area. And our, our entire roster at UIW is made up of those guys. Our first recruiting class, our only recruiting class over there was made up entirely of those guys. So it, it basically, it, it uh, just it, it, it solidified what we, what we already expected, mm -hmm. which is the state of Texas is fantastic for, for amateur baseball, and we're going to continue on the track recruiting to find those same guys and bring them here and win, win championships here at UTSA. What are the expectations for this program? I know you want to set the bar high. Right. You know, the expectations are championships, mm -hmm. Conference USA championships, and postseason, NCAA postseason. I think the conference tournament, obviously, you got to make that in order to make the NCAA tournament, but, but that's been done here. Uh, frankly, they've been to the conference tournament most years, and, and the bar needs to be raised. Um, and, and I don't know any reason, you know, whether we state it now or we state it once the team gets yeah. here, there's no hiding the fact that that's the expectation. The expectation is, is the NCAA postseason and, and conference championships. Do you feel like UTSA is built to make that run? There are so many college programs in the state of Texas that make going to the NCAA tournament such a normal thing. There is. There is. There's also, as we mentioned, a bunch of – the way I look at it, I'm going to always look to why, why it can be done. Mm -hmm. And there's just a ton of good high school players here. Mm -hmm. You know, if you look around the – lately, the guys winning – Conference USA or Southern Miss and Florida Atlantic, and and those guys do a great job. But but I don't see any reason why we can't be right up there with them, and then eventually beat them. Uh, why can't UTSA do that? You know, there's no reason. Yeah. So the players here, uh, amateur player here, is just as good as over there, or better, and there's more of them. Talk about the the population of Central Texas, San Antonio, Austin, Houston, and Dallas. There's more players, so let's go get them and let's develop them and let's start winning. And then what's the final message as you were able to recently talk to, to some of the guys right here at UTSA and, and tell them what's ahead? They were great. They're ready. Um, a couple of them even mentioned, Coach, we need higher expectations, mm -hmm. which is exciting to me. I'm not sure they're going <laughs> to totally enjoy that when, when we're getting on them and, and challenging <laughs> them like, you wanted this. Um, but that was their message, a couple of them, their message to me. So they're ready to get to work. Most of them are out playing summer ball, working on – you know, their, their craft, so to speak, and, and some of them are taking some classes and working, which is part of life. But, uh, you know, it was a positive message. They seem very uh, eager and ready and, and ready to get to work.